What happens if somebody leaves a review for your Google business account, but the review does not show up? This recently happened to me and I was able to get it restored and get it to show up on my account. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that right now. So here we are on my computer and I received this email from Google saying that somebody left me a five-star review. And I scroll down and you can see everything looks normal. Normally you get these emails so it's no big deal. But when I click on this button that says read review, instead of getting this screen, I got this screen. It said something went wrong. It made no sense because Google told me I got the review and when I go to look at it, it says something went wrong. So what I did is I contacted my customer. Now, my customer was able to look on his phone, take a screenshot, and email this little screenshot over to me. As you can see, everything looks legitimate. Of course, it does look like it's in a different language. I'm not sure if that tripped Google's spam filter or not, but I decided that I was gonna reach out to Google to make sure that I get this legitimate review to show up on my account. So, the first thing I did, I made sure that I was logged into my Google account and then I went over to Google and I searched for Google Local Business Support. And I get this website, support.google.com. Now, you're gonna have to go through a few steps here. I'm gonna take you step by step on exactly what I did so I can show you how to do it for your own business. So the first thing I'm gonna type is review not showing. Now it's gonna take me to some help articles, but what I wanna do is scroll down all the way to the bottom here and click on contact us. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my business, Big West Marketing. Now if you're logged in, it should automatically give you that option in the dropdown. If you're not logged in, make sure you go back and you log into your Gmail account the one you used when you first set up your Google My Business account. You can see already populated review not showing. So I'm gonna click next and it's gonna give me a few options to select. The one I'm going to select is review missing. Click on next step. Now, if you liked what you've seen so far, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I have lots of hot tips, tricks, the latest cutting edge information when it comes to ranking your Google My Business or your Google Business profile. So just click down below on the subscribe button and if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Let's get back to the lesson. Now, before we can submit anything, it's gonna show us another list of resources. You can go ahead and skip this and just get to the point where you can contact Google. So contact options, I wanna click on email. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna put your name, you're gonna put your email address, you're going to put your phone number, um, you're gonna put your relationship to the business. Hopefully you are the owner or you're somebody that's managing this portion of the business. Um, of course, you're gonna put the business name exactly how it matches on Google. You're gonna put the business address you originally registered with Google, so make sure you remember that. Now, it's gonna get down to what is your business profile ID. This is a little tricky to find. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So, I'm back at just the normal Google search screen, google.com. What I'm gonna do is make sure I'm still logged into my account, and I'm gonna type in Big West Marketing Inc. That is my business, that's how it appears on Google. Now if you don't know, the dashboard has been eliminated. The way you make changes now, or to make edits to your account, is through the search screen. I have a whole nother video with details on how to do that, but what you're gonna see here, if you're logged in, when you search for your business, is this little section here. Next to your business on Google, you're gonna see three little dots. Click on those three little dots. You wanna click on this first one business profile settings. Then you wanna go over here and click on advanced settings. Now you're gonna see your business profile ID. This is something that is necessary to get a hold of Google support. So it's very important that you understand how to get this. So we're gonna click copy ID. Now when you go back to this screen and it's asking for your business profile ID, you can just paste it right here. Fill out the rest of this and then what's gonna happen is Google is going to send you a canned email. So let's jump over to my Gmail real quick. So here's the exact email that I got from Google once I submitted that form that I just showed you. This is a canned response. This is something everybody's going to get. But don't worry, all you need to do is reply. So I wanna show you the exact email that I sent Google, the one that I used when I replied to Google and I supplied three screenshots, which I'll explain exactly what those are, but here's what I said. I said, I have attached three screenshots to prove the validity of the five-star review. Is it possible to have this fixed, okay? Say something similar to that. You don't need to be extra wordy. You don't need to get defensive. All you need to do is say, hey, I have proof 
and then supply these screenshots. So number one, I sent a screenshot of the email that Google sent me saying, hey, you have a new review, okay? Then I showed them the something went wrong screen as if I just don't understand what's going on. I wanna to prove to them I don't understand what's going on. Why would this happen, okay? And then I also included the screenshot that the client sent me. Now, I don't know if this one is necessary, but the more information that you have, the more legit information you have to prove your case, the better chances are that it will return. Now, here's the next email response that I received from Google. It was actually personalized. It says, I am, and it gave somebody's name, and it said they're going to elevate the case. It even mentioned my business name, my address. And so it, this was less of a canned email. It is templated, but less of a canned email. And they're responding, say they're saying they're gonna do something about it. So I had not heard anything for 48 hours. And so I just went on to my account to see if maybe it did show up. And to my surprise, it did. All I needed to do was open up my little review box here, click on newest, scroll down, and there he is. So I'm really excited that this worked. Now, anytime that a review does not show, I'm gonna do the exact same process. I'm gonna gather screenshots, gather information, I'm gonna fill out the form, and then when they send the canned response, I'm going to reply and ask them for a manual review so that I can get my legitimate review to show up. And that's it, I hope that helps. Like I said, if you want more information like this, if you wanna stay up to date on Google My Business or the Google Business Profile, and the changes that Google makes and little tips and tricks on how to solve problems, then just subscribe to my channel. Also ask any questions in the comments below. I will get back to you. I also wanna offer you a free Google My Business cheat sheet. This is a one page cheat sheet you can download for free by clicking in the description. Once you download this, you'll get a PDF and you'll be able to click on these little links here and you can go deep in each one of these topics so you can learn exactly what we do to rank our clients up on the Google My Business or the Google Business Profile. Once again, my name is Joe Burnage with Big West Academy. I will see you in the next video.